If you're a Wahoo kicker or a kicker snap owner, and you love a bit of erg mode for your workouts, there's a little setting within the trainer itself that can change the way the trainer reports power. Let's look at that now. Today's workout on Zwift, I split into two halves. The first half, here over on the left, I had erg mode power smoothing turned off. So I was riding along at 150, jumping up to 350, jumping back down, back up to 350, and then over to some 450 intervals there. You can see the power reported for this specific session just here is more representative of what we're actually doing on the pedals. When erg mode kicks in, it's a little hard, and then it settles a bit, and then it gets a little hard, it sort of oscillates a little bit before it really settles down. And then when erg mode kicks out and goes to a lower wattage, the pedals just drop out from under you. There's no real wattage there at all, just for a few little seconds there. And that's what's represented on the screen there with erg mode power smoothing turned off. Over on the right, we've set power smoothing on for the exact same intervals as we saw there on the left, but it reports very digitally. It pretty much reports what you're setting the trainer to, not really what you're doing, but it's gonna be very close anyway. So 150, 350, 150, 350, 150, 450. That's what happens to the data reported from your trainer when that setting is toggled on. The actual effort on the pedals, what you are having to do, doesn't actually change one bit at all. Looking over at the Garmin Vector 3 data recorded during the same session, you can see there, that's the human reported power there on the pedals itself. There's no smoothing whatsoever on the Garmin pedals. And then flipping back, you can see there, it's just digital reporting. A few people have asked that question in the last few weeks. So hopefully that answers what erg mode power smoothing does in the Wahoo Fitness app. Thanks for watching.